Hi friends, this is Kamal Shah from Swechat Consultancy Private Limited. Moving ahead with our series of training on advanced get software, which we provide to all our students to analyze end of day stocks. So we saw in video one, how to convert candlesticks from close line, how to add gaps, how to shrink them, how to expand the length of the candles and how to shorten them. Then in video two, we covered the use of trend line tool or the pencil tool and we saw how to use a text box. So now in this video, we are going to cover how to use the eraser, the move and the copy tool as well as how can we select between the cash stocks, futures stocks and so on. So let's start with the eraser tool out here. Now if you see here, there is an eraser tool. Eraser as said, if you want to rub something, we use eraser. So say if I have marked this line by mistake over here, I if I just go there and click it, it will get erased. So you can do one by one erasing of your mistakes that you have done onto the chart. And the second thing is, say if I want to copy something. So if I want to copy this particular things, this is the line which is acting as resistance. Over here, I can copy it and I can move it here as well and just do it. So now you see that there is an arrow out here as well. I can also copy the resistance label and I can drop it here with a left click. And this is how you can use the copy tool as well. Now say suppose you have marked it somewhere in the wrong place and you want to move it to the actual place then you can use the move tool. Now if in the move tool once you click it you can see that this is the arrow which you wanted to move a little in the direction where you want. So now you can move this like this and put it perfectly where you want to show this like this so that it is showing you a bull sash right away so this is how you can use the move copy and eraser tool now let's see how you can swap between the products in this particular chart so in the issues or the folder icon if you click then an issue box will open in front of you and in that if you see the data path option when you select the data path with a left click, you will see that there are few options out here. Now this is the first one is data BSC which says it is the BSC cash stocks. Data NSC is NSC cash stocks. Data future is NSC future stock. And the last one is the MCX which is for the commodity stock. So once you click on any of it, you will see those particular stocks out here so if i just say and bsc cash and if you see this now it is now loading the entire cash segment of bsc here so this is how you can do this now normally we do futures so you can also select futures remember only select one option at a time the tool allows you to select everything but always select the one you want to analyze for so this is how you can do the selection of which segment you want to analyze as well. Hope this video was useful to you. Thank you all.